Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle and styling guys. So in today's video I'm going to give you guys two little things that will show you guys one thing that I purchased and something else that I got tailored. Um, and I think I'm going to start off with the jacket. <laughs> so the jacket that I am wearing right now is by blank blank NYC I think and I had it for a couple of years but I've never really was a hundred percent happy on how it fit my arms you guys know I am six feet tall and the jacket was kind of hitting right at my watch and I didn't really like it it didn't have enough extra fabric to pull down to extend it fully to like past my watch so what I did was I had my tailor go ahead and crop it for me. So she cropped the sleeves to like a three quarter sleeves so I didn't have to roll it up. <laughs> um, what do you guys think about that? So that's a quick tip that I will always tell women who are tall, um, I wanna say five nine and up, if you struggle, or actually anyone who has long arms, guys. And what you can do is if it's not enough material for them to take out and extend it, get it cropped guys make it into something that you love right so that's what i did with this what do you guys think i'm not gonna put this in the title of the video but <laughs> i just think it's something extra but the video is actually going to be about a pair of boots that i purchased from alexandre berman okay can you guys see this box probably not because of the light and I'm gonna see how close I can, no, that's not gonna work. The box is a very light, hmm, I wanna say tan, but it has like a hint of blush in it. And these are the Evelyn Booty 85. Um, it says that they're waterproof. I will tell you guys this, let me just show you. And I got a size 42. Um, and this is a 42 in Italian numbers. And let me see. Neiman Marcus has them for maybe $200 cheaper. And I said 200 than the actual website. Zappos, I saw that they had them in the green color. They were on sale. So if this is your type of boot, I will link it below and you guys can check them out. So it comes with a really nice dust bag. It's actually really nice. Um, I don't know, a lot of these companies, I think they should start giving two bags. So it's a really nice bag. Better than expected. Um, for your travel. Here's my receipt. Packaging is really good has the name on it, light paper tissue, and here are the boots, guys. Now, these boots are not for everyone. <laughs> and the reason why I wanted them, I wanted something similar, was because I wanted a pair of moto boots, but I wanted them to still be girly to me. So that's why I got something with a heel, and I'm gonna come close to the camera so you guys can see. So here's the boot. This is their signature little bow here. Um, the strings are leather. And my only concern, well, the only thing that I don't really like is a lot of these brands are making boots and stuff and they have a zipper with strings. If you have strings, you don't need a zipper, okay? And it actually takes away from the boot to me being expensive looking. However, I still really love the boot. Um, difficulty putting them on because the strings were tied so tight here and I don't know if you guys can see that little tip right there it doesn't come off uh, so it limits you from it stops you from pulling the string through the last the top hoop um, if you wanted to so if you have a high instep unstring them as much as you can to get your foot in and go from there so again this is a size 42 they smell amazing. Um, I haven't had a boot 
that smelled like real leather in so long because I think a lot of brands are cheating us on the material. Uh, the Jennifer Lee boots are actually really, really nice, guys. I said that before. Um, but this is for my Bigfoot gals, and I think I'm going to start showing you guys any shoes that I purchase because we do struggle with shoes. So this is a 42, and I got a 42 because the front looked a little narrow, but once my foot is in there, it's fine. Um, but again, I did have some issues <laughs> with loosening up the strings and stuff. Here's their signature. The strings are actually leather also. And I love, and let's see the bottom. Let me see if I can give you a good, good grip on the bottom. The name is here and the size. And the heel, I think is a pretty good block heel. So this is something that you can wear all the time. So my plan, because I have a nice little moto jacket, I think it'll go good with my moto jacket or pretty much anything, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna try them on because I don't have on any socks right now. <laughs> but I wanted to give you guys a good view of them. I mean, I could, I guess. Um, a good view of them. Um, I do really love the bottom. A lot of boots are made with slick bottoms. So this is, I don't know, they seem like they're waterproof, but I wouldn't wear these in the rain, guys. I wouldn't do it. Um, they're really nice boot. So, and I think honestly, the reason why they had them strung up so tight, cause it gives it like a, like a sleek, sleek, sleekness look. <laughs> a sleek look and I don't know, I love them. And I actually think the older they get, they may look even better. Um, cause I think the, just the strings being leather, I think that's a really, really good touch. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think about the boots and let me know what you guys think about the jacket. And I'm trying to see what else. Let me actually open it up really quick. It's so much, you know, I give it to these brands that put um, all the tissue paper in. So the ends, it's a really, it's a really good made boot. So. Again, you cannot take the strings out from here. So if you wanted to adjust the, to move the tongue around, you kind of really can't because the string is here. It doesn't come out. Um, but the tongue, you can move the tongue around. So the tongue is pretty much attached to this. So you can shift that if it gets like, you know, a little stuck there. And let's see. As far as the inside, it's not much, well, it's actually some padding between the sole of the foot and the heel. So there's some padding in there. You guys can't really see it. Um, and what else? That's about it, guys. If you are into stuff like this, I would definitely say give it a go. Try it out. Um, it looks like it's coming up shiny on camera, but they're not shiny. Um, they're like a nice Nappa leather. And... I love them. I don't know, can you guys see the sleekness here? Uh, so you probably can't stuff your jeans in here, I will say that, uh, maybe skinny jeans, or maybe something a little higher, skirts, you could probably wear it with skirts. Um, I probably would wear this with like a shirt dress, maybe a jacket, um, jacket by itself if you wanted to, or with just like maybe a one piece or something like that. A real chill day. Um, and then you can probably just wear it with some jeans, rolled up with a t-shirt, like a graphic tee, and a leather jacket. Uh, so, yeah, these are the Evelyn. What did I say, Evelyn? Because the name is looking a little weird. Oh yeah, just Evelyn 85. Leather, waterproof leather booties. So it actually says waterproof, guys. So let me know what you guys think about this. This little bow, at first I didn't know if I was feeling it, but I realized, I'm like, oh, this is their signature. So I like it. I like it. It's very understated. They're not a cheap shoe. So yeah, <laughs> you guys know I'm all about quality and not necessarily names being written all over it. So I'm good with this. This is something that I would consider a basic in my wardrobe because it's a black booty and I can wear it dressed up and I can wear it dressed down. So that is what we do on this channel. We try to maximize what we purchase right in smarting shop so 
Okay guys, that's the end of this video. So if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, guys. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I do post tips every single day, maybe three or four times a day. Um, that's Instagram at CocoStylesNY.com or CocoStylesNY. And then my website is CocoStylesNY for your styling services and CocoStylesNYC.com for the style blog, guys. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.